you may do so. All clean? Perfect. All right. Friends, we have been practicing our last names. So, if you want to grab paper, if you have smiley paper at home, or just any paper that you could practice your last name on, you can pause the video now and do so with your grown-up. All right, friends. We are still in the month of January, our brand new month. Can you say January with me? Ready? January. Great job. Let's sing our Days of the Week song and find out what today is. Are you ready? Here we go. Days of the week. 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 Oh, there's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Great job, friends. If yesterday was Wednesday, what does that make today? Oh, there's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday. Wonderful job, friends. And if yesterday was the number six, let's start at four and count it out to find out what today is. Ready? Four, five, six, seven. Great job, friends. Let's put up our number seven on Thursday. And let's say the date together. Today is Thursday, January 7, 2021. Our brand new year. Let's say our year together. Ready? 2021. Well done. All right, friends. If you need to pause the video now and finish the calendar with your grown-up, you may do so. If you're ready to go on, we'll look outside. Oh, friends. I definitely see some things in the sky. It's not quite the sun, but I don't see anything falling. Yeah, it's definitely cloudy here at UPK. Is the weather the same or different at your house? Good job, friends. And we'll put that right under Thursday. If you need to pause the video now and finish the weather with your grown-up, you may do so. If you're ready to go on, we'll talk about our question of the day. Friends, have you ever heard of something called peas porridge? Huh, I've definitely heard of porridge. Remember, we talked about that when we read Goldilocks and the Three Bears. She ate all of the bear's porridge. It's a kind of oatmeal, isn't it? Well, peas porridge was actually made out of peas instead of oats. But it's a kind of cereal or pudding, I guess you would eat. It has like that mushy consistency. That would feel really weird if you ate your peas all smashed up. And sometimes people even put other things in there, like cured ham or other food items in with their peas porridge. But the reason I'm telling you this is because we are going to work on a nursery rhyme today. And the nursery rhyme is called Peas Porridge Pop. So, we are going to it's kind of a rhyme, so it has a rhythm to it, okay? And I'll do it once, and then you do it with me. Does that sound good? All right, here we go. Peas porridge hot, peas porridge cold, peas porridge in the pot nine days old. Some like it hot, some like it cold. Some like it in the pot nine days old. I do hear some rhyming words in there. So 
let's work on it together and listen for our rhyming words. Ready, friends? All right, here we go. Peas porridge hot, peas porridge cold, peas porridge in the pot nine days old. Cold and old, those are rhyming words. Some like it hot, some like it cold, some like it in the pot nine days old. I don't know if I'd like to eat porridge that was nine days old, but <laughs> it is a fun rhyme. And we can definitely hear some rhyming words. We can also hear some words that are opposites. So if some like their porridge hot and some like it cold, those are two different ways of eating it, right? We have hot and the opposite is cold. We're going to talk more about opposites in a little while. But right now, we are going to do our stretch break. All right, friends, let's stand up, take one step away from your computer, and here we go. Nice and loud, ready? I can stretch. I can bend. I can wave to a friend. Hi, friends. I can jump so high. I can crouch so low. I can tap the floor with my toe. I cross my arms and breathe in deep. I calm my body and have a seat. Great job, friends. All right, friends. If you're ready to go on to our story, you can hop over to the other video right now. Our story today is called Career Day by Ann Rockwell. If you're not ready to go to the story yet, you can rewind and do our stretches again. Did you enjoy the story, friends? It was a really good one. And it's so important to talk about all of our friends that work hard in our community. We've been talking a lot about family and communities and our family traditions and the things that we do on special occasions and the things that we do every day in our community. So the first activity we're going to do today is a little paper that looks like this. So if you want to grab this paper and your crayons, you may do so now. We're going to start by writing our name, and today, let's practice both our first and our last names. Now remember, grown-ups, if your preschooler is still practicing, you can always use a highlighter or a yellow marker to write out their first and last name, and they can trace over it. And after you're done with your name, we're going to draw three Three jobs on top and three jobs on the bottom. So six different jobs in our community. You can choose jobs that maybe mom or dad have or grandma or grandpa. Or you could write and draw pictures of jobs that you might want to try when you get older. So if you want to pause the video now and talk about the jobs in your community, you may do so now. All right, friends, make sure you share that with us on Facebook. Great job. Our second activity today is about opposites. Friends, do you remember when I talked to you about hot and cold and how they were opposite? We have some papers that look like this. So if you'll grab these papers, your crayons and some scissors, and 
and come right on back. We'll talk about opposites. All right, friends. So I'm going to show you a little bit about opposites. So I have two pictures that look the same, but they are actually opposite because this picture is very light and this picture is a little bit heavier because it is full. They are opposites, light and heavy. You could also say that this one is empty and this one is full. That is what you're going to practice with your opposite cards. So you'll cut them apart, you can color them, and then you can match them together. So this is heavy and light. A brick would be heavy and a feather would be light. So if you want to pause the video now and work on your opposite cards, you may do so. Great job, friends. The, today, you can work on finding opposites in your home with your grown-ups. So it could be heavy <laughs> and light. It could be tall and short. It could be something that's long or short. And you can work on that with your grown-up today or anytime. You can use your cards and find things in your home that are the same or different. All right, friends. See you soon. Bye.